his MRI this morning, and we are awaiting the results of that uh, this afternoon, and then we'll put out an official release on that. He has inked Corey Brewer for the remainder of the season this morning. Uh, what has he meant to you guys, his energy level, and what he's brought defensively? Well, I think, you know, on the court, it's, it's very positive. Uh, he fits our style and, and uh, you know, getting up and down the floor. He's always been a guy that's able to get out on the break and make an open shot from three, space the floor. Uh, gives us some length uh, defensively and, and the different looks on guys. Um, and certainly his experience is positive for us. And then uh, off the court, he's been uh, a, a vocal leader for us. And, and um, you know, again, experience helps. And he's been through the league. and. Uh, spent, I think, most of his career in the Western Conference, and I think that's very positive for us. Seems like he brings chaos when he steps on the <laughs> He's always been a very active player. Yeah. Coach, can you talk just a little bit about last night's game in terms of having to defend everything? Uh, are, there, are there a lot of positives you can take away about the way your team fought back? And yeah. The team, the best yeah, we, uh, you know, I thought we came back three separate times, and, uh, you know, a couple shots go down. I think, you know, Buddy had a wide open shot. Uh, and he'll make that nine out of ten times, you know, and then they go down and shoot a contested three and they hit it and, it, you know, it's just one of those things for when you're playing from behind, there's a lot less margin for error. But, uh, you know, we fought like crazy and just kept coming back and the resilience. I had talked to people on the phone last night that said, you know, you could feel the energy through their computer. You could feel it through the TV. I mean, it's just a really neat deal. So it, it stinks, you know, that, you know, we've taken some losses that are close against some really good teams. But, you know, after the game last night in the press conference in the locker room, very, very positive uh, and just keep pushing forward. And, and we're playing hard uh, and we don't quit. And uh, the, the, what we're building here, we'll, we'll, we will reap the rewards of this in many years to come. Not many years from now, but going forward, if this is, this is who we are and hope that, I, I believe that it is, you know, we're a tough out. And uh, Sacramento's a tough place to play if you're a visiting team. And uh, we just, we're going to keep coming at you. And, and uh, I think, you know, we're going to, as these young guys get older and older, you know, make, make a couple extra plays or, you know, a couple little things that go on throughout the course of the game. You know, Bledsoe runs in and gets an offensive rebound on a free throw, for example. You know, that stuff just shouldn't happen. Young team, sometimes that stuff happens. And, and as you clean some of that stuff up, you got a you know, better chance to win closer games. Uh, it's just love and support. You know, you're, you're talking about a guy who's, you know, he got injured earlier in the year and had to go through some stuff. And, you know, the worry is anything with a knee, you get, you know, nervous. Is it a six month? Is it a, is it a tear? You know, I can't, I don't want to speculate on it, but you just, you love and you support, uh, not just him, but, you know, his family. And, uh, you know, hopefully the results are positive when they come out. The way Harry Giles just loved on him after that, what does that say about your team and just the chemistry and brotherhood? Yeah, we're, we're a very close group, you know, and we got good guys, we all get along really well, and uh, it's, it's, a, for, it's, it's special because it's a young group. You know, sometimes you, I think you maybe see that with older guys that have been around each other and they, you know, their families have grown up together as you spend years together, and uh, we, have, we have terrific chemistry, you know, for a young group. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think they're they're four and four since the trade deadline. Um, they still play the same. Uh, obviously, you know, they're missing uh, a couple different guys, but they've added a couple different guys. Uh, Landry uh, Shamit is playing pretty well for them. Gives them a, a you know a little bit of a JJ Redick light uh, feel. Can make shots, and and uh, Patrick Beverly has hurt us. I mean, hitting open shots. He hit three threes against us last time. So. Uh, I think they've been they've been very physical with us. They got their hands on us and pushed us around the court. Uh, they got in the paint. We settled for uh, jump shots last time. It was also, you know, it's not a great time. It was the last game of a, of a long road trip. Uh, we didn't play well. Uh, we've not played well against them this year, and, uh, you know, hopefully tomorrow's different. When you watch the games and then assess the, the film, um, how good is, is Harrison in terms of his perimeter defense and what he's given you there right now? He's done a terrific job. He's had some. He's had some tough matchups. Um, you know, Paul George, Kevin Durant. Uh, I thought he did a good job on Wiggins the other night. And sometimes when you spend that much energy defensively, it can take its toll uh, at the offensive end. And but he's starting to find a rhythm now. I think and being comfortable with our guys. And given the way you've played some of the top teams in the league, what does that say about how ready or not you guys are to, to kind of make a run here over the next few weeks? Yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard to say. I mean, I think it's easy to say. Well, you know, you can lose by one to Golden State and. 
at Milwaukee, you know, you just you just play that way against you know whoever else, and you're going to be fine. It's it, it's it's human athletic nature to play and, and take your game to the highest level possible when you're playing those best teams. And you know, we saw I think a little bit of that in the Minnesota game, where you know it's not going to be that tight and that focused every single night. And you say from the outside, like, how can that be? I mean, we're in the playoff race. The focus had it. It's not that there wasn't focus. It's just it's just young guys, and, and uh, you're going to take some bumps in the road sometimes. But you know, hopefully, we continue to play at that level. I, I would hope so. But you know, we're young. We're and young. Lastly, on, on Marvin, you know, assuming that, that he is going to miss at least a little bit of time, where do you look um, for kind of increased contributions? It's uh, you know, we've we've spread minutes around uh, throughout the course of the season and different. Different lineups and uh, change things on the on the flow a little bit, and then you had the trade deadline, and that's kind of so. Um, you know, it's just something that you have to deal with. Next guy up has the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know I'm not going to lie to you and say it's just another game, but uh, you know we're going to go out and compete and. Uh, you know, we're fired up to be home for a little bit. Uh, we know we got a couple more road trips and stuff, but uh, you know, this has been a tough stretch, and, and, and it's it's difficult to just exhale and go, okay, that that stretch is over. It doesn't stop. You know, we're in a, in a playoff race, and I think as a competitor, that's what you love. Did you have one? Did I miss you? you got enough content? We're all good. Yeah. Maybe. Experiencing almost what playoff environments could feel like. Well, I think going through the whole process is positive. Um, you know, playing competitive games, playing close games, uh, every it seems like every play matters. But, you know, 82 games, 48 minutes, long games, long season, uh, they're just young. And, and uh, you know, hopefully uh, keep taking mental notes of, of oh, that that's right, that went down that. that okay, i got to prepare this way. Or that little play right there made a difference in a two- or three-minute stretch. So uh, I think that's all very positive. Does it feel like that because there's such a, uh, there's a way you send limited games remaining that that environment will kind of duplicate as the season winds down? Yeah, hopefully we're young enough we don't really realize it. And uh, but no, you, you just want to continue to take take mental notes and, and keep learning because you know this is going to pay dividends for for years to come. And finally, just because I'm going to be there, uh, how's your parking <laughs> That's good. We'll uh, I'll be pouring uh, on Saturday over there, so uh, I invite everybody to come out and we'll have some fun. Do you know what you know what to expect? Like what you would, what, what that might look like. Yeah, like you just <laughs> fill up your beer. <laughs> I think I got I can handle that. Yeah.